Hello, my awesome and amazing Cancerians. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot, here to bring you another general collective reading. Messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? What could they be thinking about you and the connection? Whether they are single or possibly dealing with a third party, there could be radio silence between the two of you. You could have gone no contact with this person. There could have been ghosting, blocking, all of that. So let's see what's going on in their energy. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Cancerian viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Got the power of number nine, number 10, and number 11. Okay. Looks like we're going to the number 30. Some of you Cancerians could be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. Others of you could be dealing with a Libra or possibly a Scorpio born in the month of October. You could also be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius born in the month of November. Others of you are dealing with Aries, possibly a Gemini, Virgo, picking up on Leo energy, Scorpio energy is coming back up again, picking up on Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So, Power number 30. Some of you guys could have been born in 1990 and 1991 and or possibly 1993. You could be 30, 31, or maybe even 39 years of age. So that's what's going on in the power of the numbers. But going to the number 30, messages from your specific person. One, two. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, 28, 29, and 30. Trusted ancestors of my Cancerian viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please? From Cancer's person unto them, show me what's up. Mm. They're in hermit mode right now. You could be dealing with power of number nine. Number nine came up on the first roll of the dice. We have the hermit card. You could be dealing with a Libra or possibly a Virgo. They're thinking. They're in some kind of heavy contemplation. They could also be watching you behind the scenes. They're pretty somber or to themselves at the moment. Just doing a lot of thinking. Possibly reflecting on their life. Mmm, interesting. We have a five of coins. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn more specifically. They're feeling some kind of lack without you, Cancer. They may even be thinking about coming back, and they may even start to beg you to take them back. Mm. Which, on your part, could be highly questionable. Wow. Suppressed emotions. Got the moon card. Sign of cancer coming in. You could be dealing with another cancerian. The moon card.
I feel like they have some kind of secret agenda or they had a secret agenda before in the past. They were very shady with you before in the past. <sighs> I'm hearing the phrase mixed communication or missed miscommunication between the two of you. I feel like they are tempted to text message you or come to your house, but they don't know. They had a lot of clouded judgment before in the past, Cancer. They weren't thinking things through. Yeah, they had a lot of secrets. And or they could be going into their higher self or their higher self is trying to get the betterment of them to do the right thing. But they had somebody else behind the scenes at one point in time. They were shady about their whereabouts too. That's what I'm hearing. It's just a lot of secretive... There's a lot of secretive energy going on. I mean, the hermit is a closed off energy. The moon can be a closed off energy. High priestess, holding back wisdom, secrets, ancient wisdom, knowledge, all of that stuff or feelings. Yeah, because clarifying the high priestess, we have the ace of cups. So deep down inside, they really do love you, Cancer. They could also be worried that there's competition going on or wondering if you are in fact seeing somebody else behind the scenes. They don't know if they have to go into competition with someone else or if they're going to have to. <sighs> mm, I'm hearing Taylor Dane in my head from the 1980s. Prove your love. They have to somehow prove their love to you. Getting some kind of mental clarity or direct communication. King of Swords. You could be dealing with an, an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You might be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. They want to directly communicate with you because they want to invest more time and energy, but they don't know how to do it. They could be feeling lack in their financial resources, but their lack in financial resources, if that's the case, that's because spirit's hitting them up because there's a judgment call, I feel, on this person. If there is a what goes around comes around. I don't need to see like the Wheel of Fortune or the Judgment card or the World card to know that this person's getting some kind of karma. Because why all the silent energy? They, If they're in a third party situation, they're in contemplation about that as well. Reflecting on the fact like, man, I didn't really invest that much time or energy into cancer. But they do want to directly communicate with you. Part of them, I feel like their ego is getting in the way. Like they don't want to come off as if they're begging. But some of them may come back in a, in a begging manner. They're not exactly... Here's the thing, Cancer. They're not exactly moving fast. You know, I don't have a lot of fast energy that's going on in the cards. They're kind of in more of this subdued um, mental phase. Trying to find that wisdom, clarity, or insight. Maybe, re, you know, reflecting on themselves like, man, why didn't I... Why didn't I give more time and energy to cancer? Why didn't I invest more time? <laughs> yeah, there we go. So in the silence, they're replaying your conversations over and over again. So whether it's text message, DM, voicemail, email. But why? Well, I'm going to say part of it has to do with the Ace of Cups. Because their emotions for you run deep. And they just... 
it kind of feels like they're they're putting themselves into this restrictive energy. I feel you even though we are apart. <laughs> so they're thinking about you or your energy is hitting them up, Cancer. Just thinking, thinking, thinking. Please don't hate me for ghosting you. You didn't deserve it. Hence the reason for all that quiet, silent energy. They had something that they needed to get together in their life. Their priorities weren't straight. I think that you're better off without me. That's an insecurity statement. If that's the case, Cancer, then they see you up here. So what they're saying, the undercurrent, is like they feel that they're not worthy of you. I was selfish and immature. Please forgive me. Why does this person that Cancer's dealing with think that they are better off without them. They don't know if they can give you what you need or to balance up the situation. But then that would tell me also too that <laughs> they still want their cake and eat it too. They don't know. They're undecided. They're wishy-washy. They're going back and forth. You know, um, it's like they want to be in your presence, but they don't know how they give that time, energy, or investment. They're more in a materialistic state than more in their heart chakra. Yes, the Ace of Cups is a beautiful energy, and I, those are the types of cards I want to see on a person from them unto you, but where their mentality is at, Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, because they know that they were giving time and energy. I think this person is really truly questioning whether or not they can actually be loyal and faithful to you. Hence a reason why for an insecure statement such as that. <sighs> Tell me the reason for the ghosting. They were feeling burdened and challenged. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. They were feeling burdened, burdened by their environment, burdened by the people around them. Which means that they were playing like a puppet on a string. Yeah, they were meant to, whoop, wow. They were mentally conflicted, five of swords. That tells me also, too, they've never experienced a connection like this before. You know, good connections are not supposed to push people away. But when somebody's in a lack conscious mentality, five of pentacles, that tells me this person doesn't feel that they are worthy of you. That's on them, Cancer, not you. I mean, you can't shake it out of them. How would they come forward, please? How would they come forward? Wow, it's like doing a 180 degree turnaround or going from zero miles an hour to 200 miles an hour. Sun card. They get, they see the light. Whatever's hidden in the dark is going to come to the light. Moon to the sun. Huh. Look at, we got the moon card again. Moon to the sun to the moon. So it's like they're going to pop out out of nowhere but they could end up retrieving or, like I said, whatever's hidden in the dark is going to come to light. So that Ace of Cups, that type of frequency, their emotions being suppressed behind the scenes right now of how they think or feel. They know that they have to quit something. The, the world card is talking about an ending. They have to close out old karmic patterns and cycles. Mind you, planet Saturn is in retrograde right now. So that's, you know, planet of karma. 
So karma could be hitting them up right now. Hence another reason why for all of the ghosting, the silence, um, you know, leaving you behind, going off to somewhere else, you know. Good relationships do not push people away. People want to keep good friendships. But if somebody is not feeling worthy, then that's a whole other current. This person then needs to feel good about themselves. You know, they could have put up, I've got two moon cards plus a high priestess. They could have put on this false personification cancer to pump and make themselves look good or pump themselves up and, you know, over project themselves. But deep down inside, there's an insecurity that I'm picking up on. And so their direct communication was avoidant pretty much. They were avoiding you after a period of time. Because either they felt like the connection was getting too serious, they didn't know what they wanted, they didn't know if they wanted marriage. It's like the, this person, I feel, does not entirely have their life organized. So this is a deeper rooted issue within them. So it's to be continued because this person right now, they're just, they're, they're idling right now behind the scenes. They're waiting, thinking, contemplating. Second guessing themselves, dealing with their own insecurity, the lies, the deception. Probably that they know that you know the truth about them or you could have caught them in a particular subject matter. You know, you could have caught them with another person, could have caught them on social media, whatever the case may be. Some of them could have directly told you to your face, I don't want this connection anymore and gave you no legitimate reason. They have lessons to learn. That's what I'm picking up on. So my awesome and amazing Cancerians, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant Victoria will book you for that personal reading. If you love this content, Cancer, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.